in my smart aleck sale, I had to find out where does scripture line up here? You know, where, where is the psychological meet the spiritual? I opened the Bible one day. Now, I'm not, I can't say that I am a preacher. I don't know that uh, I'm all that brilliant. And this is no Beth Moore uh, fill in the blanks. <laughs> Although she's good. My story came right out of the book of Genesis, which was good because I just started at the beginning. And lo and behold, there was Genesis. Hadn't read it in a long time. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, it was just Him. And he created the world, he created animals, trees, rivers, streams, and oceans. And then he created man in his image. Just wanted somebody to hang with. Somebody to talk to. And uh, that didn't go well, so he made women. Oh, lighten up, Baldy. It's just a joke. I don't know how it went down, but he made man, and then he made woman, and and it hit me. Those are the original kids, the original children, the first kids that belong to God. Now, the interesting thing, the second chapter, and I won't take the time to read all of it, but the second chapter and the very last verse, it describes the original feeling of the original feeling child. It says they were both naked. Couldn't wait to call my mother and tell her. They were naked, 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 naked. They were in the garden, and the Bible says, and they felt no shame. They felt no shame. Then the story continues. That the Lord told them, don't eat the fruit of the tree. He told Adam, don't eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge. Now that hit me right between the eyes. That convicted me. In other words, what he told Adam was, don't eat that fruit. There's some things you just don't need to know. You know, don't eat that fruit. There's some things, I hate to tell you, you're never going to know. In other words, I think what he was saying is, I'm God, you're not. And we can cry and plead and ask why all day long. But once in a while, in the tenderness of fatherhood, he says, would you leave that to me? If I began to explain it to you, you couldn't grasp it. So I'm asking you to trust me. Trust your dad. You just don't need to know. There is so much evil, you don't even want to know what it looks like. So don't eat the fruit. Now, I will say this little sad note. He told that to Adam. He never really told Eve. <laughs> just one small thing you never hear at Promise Keeper. Small detail that the husband was supposed to pass on to the wife. 